back. We're now going to answer some of the most common grooming questions out there. Kim Kendrick from A Regal Beagle, along with Georgia, are here to answer seven most frequently asked questions. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you us. for having us. So let's just start uh, the top question here. How often should I get my dog groomed? Yep. If you have a dog um, that has hair that gets cut and shaped, the general rule of thumb is every six months. If you have a more natural breed, um, like a golden retriever, a shepherd, a short hair dog like Georgia, um, every season. Um, or more often if you want for shedding. Okay, so uh, how, how about the nails? I know it's a biggie, and I'm scared to even cut them yeah. on my own for my dog. <laughs> They're about the same. On average, every six weeks they could go that long. Um, more like every four weeks if you don't ever walk them on asphalt and if they're an older dog you want to make sure they have good stable footing or if they tend to grow faster so george is four years old yep how often do you groom her now i do i get i cut her nails once a month okay. um and i give her a bath probably every other month so for a puppy though and again she's a shorter haired breed but for a puppy like my dog's got longer hair how often do you recommend uh those dogs to come in um seasonally they can come in seasonally it's more like the bichons and the maltese and those types of dogs that need it every six weeks and age wise does that change? Um, they should start getting groomed early so that it's not foreign to them, so it seems natural. Um, by three months of age, most dogs usually have at least their second round of vaccines because you want them to be protected while they're in a grooming shop. Okay, what is a puppy cut? Um, a puppy cut um, can mean one of two things. It's basically you want your dog to look like a puppy. To some people, that means taking a longer-haired dog that's older and cutting them very, very short mm. so they look young again. For other people, that means having them long and shaggy so they look like that scraggly puppy. Both of them can be correct. <laughs> You just need to make sure you, that your groomer and you are on the same page when you say, I want a puppy cut, or you could be very surprised with what you get back. <laughs> yeah, it changes the look completely. Yes. Uh, here we are in the winter, so um, how about cutting... Uh, the hair short during the winter it's months? It's generally fine as long as you don't have a dog that loves to be outside for a long time. If they just go out, do their business, and come in, it's absolutely fine. Okay, and so this obviously applies to me. Why does my dog shake <laughs> when I drop her off I know, with you? Think, what do you do with them in <laughs> she there? She shakes uncontrollably. <laughs> it can be a lot of things. It can be that they're either nervous or excited from the car ride. It could be that they're either nervous or excited to come in. Some dogs love to see me and come running in. <laughs> Other dogs are very, very nervous, probably because they associate that moment with you leaving them um, but I assure you 98% of the time it's like dropping your kid off at daycare and by the time you're at the corner the dog is laying on a bed and they're absolutely Which fine. Which is so true for me. <laughs> right. Kim Kendrick and Georgia thanks so much for being here. Thank you very much. Well, up next we visit a local sweet shop to show you an unusual treat that's winning over a lot of hearts this Valentine's Day.